All right, people, Catfish Dave here. This is a video demonstrating how I get free hooks and lures from bass fishermen. Now, this has happened to me my whole catfishing career, and uh, I always wanted to catch it on video. There's a series of events that led to this happening, and it all started out with, I was seeing this old gal, and uh, she was complaining about me fishing so much on the weekend, not spending time with her. Well, I checked at the weather radar one Friday afternoon and it was supposed to rain Friday night all day Saturday. My only decent shot of taking video was going to be on Sunday. I said this would be a good time to spend the weekend with her, or at least Friday night and Saturday. So we make arrangements to grill out Friday night and to spend the day with each other on Saturday. Well anyway, I get off work on Friday afternoon. I stop to get some coffee, tell her I'm off work, and then I'm going to go home and get cleaned up and head to her house. Well, I went in and got my coffee, you know, and come back out and I got to thinking, if I'm only going to fish on Sunday, it'd be nice if I had bait already and didn't have to fool with it before I went fishing. So instead of going home to get showered and cleaned up, I went back to the river to catch some skipjack. It was pouring the rain, so I left my phone in my truck. When I got down there, it was me, a guy named Ricky Dean Sr., and this guy called the Shad Daddy, out there for two hours in the pouring rain fishing for skipjack. I get my skipjack, I get back in the truck, and I realize she had been calling, she had been texting, but my phone was in my truck. So I call her back. Where have you been, she says. I said, I've been catching skipjack. She says, oh, really? She says, I've been trying to get a hold of you for two hours. So she said she didn't want to see me that night. She didn't want to see me Saturday. She didn't want to see me Sunday. And she probably didn't want to see me Monday either. Well, anyhow, Saturday morning rolls around. I ain't got no date, but I got bait. So what do I do? I go catfishing. I pull up at this park and no off North Shore Drive, you know, downtown Knoxville area. And I throw out a cut bait. Wasn't there too long. It was pouring the rain. Here comes that dag blasted rain. Put my little hoodie on here over my camera. Hopefully this rain don't last long. Dag blasted. And I ended up catching me an old blue catfish. That fish felt bigger than what he was. Yeah, that's what I figured. I've been blue cat country here. It's like a, I don't know, kind of an old beat up looking male. You know what I mean? I got that bite while I was sitting in my truck. So I'm going to go ahead and sit in my truck again see if that helps. Anyhow, I got, I let that fish go, got my pole baited back up, threw back out. I seen this bass fisherman come into the cove I was fishing. They kind of went straight, turned right, turned around and seen me and turned right back around and headed straight for me.
about come something right over for me. Come on, dude. You're gonna come straight to over for me and get a Now, as soon as I seen them heading straight for me, I, I already started getting an attitude because this has happened to me a million times. And it seems like every time they do it, they cross my lines. Now, I don't know if they're rude. I don't know if they're dumb or if they just want to give me free gear. But either way, it happens just about every time a bass fisherman decides he's going to fish in front of me. Well, anyhow, they pull over my lines, you know, they're kind of cruising back and forth. The more they do it, the matter I get, you know. I start cussing out loud. I know they can hear because it's only me and them there, you know. Ain't no one else around. It's pretty quiet out. They can hear me cussing, but they continue to fish over my lines. Finally, as this continues, I'm no longer thinking they're probably going to get my lines. I am wanting them to get my lines. I am hoping that these guys cross my lines because I am mad as I can be. And I really want to break somebody's line at this point. I'm already in a bad mood, you know. The whole girlfriend being mad at me thing, being out there fishing in the rain, you know. I'm already in a bad mood. I'm ready to break these guys' lines, you know. Sure enough, it happens. I hear that clicker go off. That'll show them. I got me a free hook. That's how you get free fishing gear right there. I snatched a rod out of one's boat one time. They deciding they gonna leave now. Parked over my bait there for, just kept running back. I kept waiting on it. I said, I'm gonna snatch that rod out of his hand. As Soon as I hear that clicker, I heard that clicker I picked up. I started running over there to North Shore Drive. That right there is how to get free gear from boaters, man. They heard me cussing. They pulled in here, started to go that way and see me and come right for me. I don't even bother to pull my stuff in anymore. I hope they hook my lines. I, I'm begging that they hook my lines so I can try to rip that rod out of their hands. Nowhere else to fish but right here in front of me. 565 miles of shoreline. They decided it was time to leave after all that though, didn't they? Yeah. Today I got me a, a free worm hook and a swivel from a bass fisherman. Another time I got this mini rattle trap the same way. 
from a bass fisherman. I got this little thing right here, the same way, from a bass fisherman. I got this right here, same way, from a bass fisherman. I got this right here, the same way, from a bass fisherman. Thank y'all for the gear. Keep parking over my baits. I don't fish for bass, but I'll give it to somebody that does. I don't use this stuff, because I hate bass. If I get a bass, I'm gonna use it for bait. But I'll tell you what, if y'all want some free bass gear, all you gotta do is buy some catfish gear and set up. And these dumb boys will see your lines out there, and they'll park right over them, and they'll start throwing over them. So, the free gear is there. All you gotta do is have this 40 pound Andy Monster compared to whatever they're using. You got free gear, man, because they're not smart enough to keep from doing it. So, I'm not gonna use this stuff, but I'll give it to someone that will. Anyway, this is just a, a short video on how all you cat fishermen like me can get free gear from bass fishermen. It's easy. Just get you some catfish rods set up on the bank and they'll pull right up to you. This is a video. There was a fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Day with another one. Signing out. <laughs>